this week on all the weird things I get to do. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome back to vlog with a dog. I think that this is a format that I'm going to continue using uh, in the future, though I'm probably going to switch between my phone and my actual like nice legitimate camera. Yeah, I find that this is a much easier method for me. I'm more inspired when I do it this way because if I I'm doing something on the fly. I can just pull my phone out or have my camera on me and just show whatever I'm doing. Cause sometimes I'm working on really big projects and sometimes it's just little things here or there. And then I also get to show you parts of just my, my life. I think I'm taking next week off. And then um, the week after I have a special video starring my brother, <laughs> starring my brother. We have to finish part two of that first, but yeah, I took him for a tattoo surprise and we have to finish our tattoos um, in two weeks once they heal. So anyway, that's it. Peace out, baby friends. Love you, bye. I thought hot glue would not be really difficult to remove. Oh, it's gonna be a good time. Uh, I'm doing a redo from one of my like first face-ups. And let me just tell y'all, I have come a long way. <laughs> I know I said that, but when I go back and look at stuff, I'm like, dang, dang, this, yeah, it's time. Eh, we'll see. Heat theory with a blow dryer heating the glue. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll try. Also, I like how I walked into my craft room and I like was looking at this head and I was like, this color does not look great. Like thinking it was supposed to be cinnamon and I was like, that doesn't look cinnamon. That looks really off. Cause I have blue lighting for my sign. It just made it look like a completely other color. Nope, it's supposed to be that color. Cause it's gray. Mm. Always keeping us restless with the lights. Keeping us restless with I need a new mat. This one is so gross and messy because I craft on everything. But aside from that, how... This is my first time where I'm using an infinity sculpt and my ask was to make infinity on the infinity sculpt, which is quite fitting. But yeah, I mean, not a bad first attempt at all. I don't think that I'll ever be able to get my lines totally perfect. Um, I just, with with color pencil, like doing my best, but yeah. I mean, it looks like her. I'm not mad about it. I've got the purple eye from Hollow Moon. So cool, man. So cool. Come on, focus, um, focus on me. Yay! Okay, so it's Monday and it's news night and I'm legitimately sweating out of fear because these things scare me so much. Please comment if you totally understand and you have the same feelings. I, I put gloves on and I stood as far away from it as possible and poked it with a spoon until, <laughs> until it opened. I, I honestly like don't know how I have like even become, I don't even know how to like, I don't even think I have words to describe it. Thank you is probably not enough to, to say to all of you who have put in orders uh, the last few weeks, it's been crazy in the best of ways. Um, March Face of Madness was the best it's ever been. And March Face of Madness didn't really end. It kind of just continued. Five face-ups last week, and I think I've got another few weeks full. Like, this is what I have planned for my week this week. Yeah, I just feel very fortunate, and like, thank you. 
so much. I have come a long way in the last few years. Yeah, this has been a really amazing way to push and challenge and taking on probably more than I should, but I'm happy that I'm doing it and I know that I'll be grateful, especially when I'm taking the next few months off to just focus on sewing. Right, here's the face up that I did for Shizu's on with his gray blank. I did like a turquoisey greenish blue. I mean, maybe do I don't know. Uh, pop for the eye makeup, and then um, he sent me the teal eyes and purple eyes. I gravitated to teal, gee, I wonder why, but I will likely switch it out to purple, maybe. But here's the lavender wig. I'm all right with it, but I think we can do better. So it's an ombre, it's got the darker on the top and lighter on the bottom. Yeah, I really do like the contrast of like some cool tone with the reddish orange pink families, the warm tones for the wigs, for the gray girls. I think it's real rockin'. Always keep it us the warms, man. The warm tones just really kick it up a notch. Warm tones, warm tones. Let's do it. Like that Merlot wig on our Anime Genesis in gray. Ugh. Superb. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I don't know. I have lime green. Should I try lime green too? Hmm. Oh, I freaking love the green. <laughs> I feel like she looks very sci-fi, like Space Girl. I love this. I love this way more than I thought I would. Yes, lime freaking green. And then, you know, we talked about reds. So let's just do a true red. I mean, there's, there's definitely like different variations. This is more on the orange side, but I do love it too. I think it's really cute. Oh, she's Suzanne. What will you choose? Yeah. I am really excited because I got a Coco painted vision head. I've never seen a painted vision head in person. I have done uh, a dauntless vision i'll insert a dauntless vision a dauntless with her eyes closed dauntless vision i don't know i'll insert a photo but um i had someone reach out to me who ordered this girl and she was just like can you add just some fun pops of color she has an amazing vision for her but what i'm going to do is i want to just erase part of the eyebrow because there's some additional eyebrow add-on that she wants me to do and i don't think i need to erase the whole eyebrow just partial. Okay. Partial eyebrows erased. I am going to make them a bit thicker and have a different angle on the back side. On the back side, on the edges of them. Bye. 